Hi, everyone. I hope you are well. I just wanted to touch base with you, really, and go over some of the government and Department of Education updates which have taken place this week. And then I'll pass you over to Miss Aves, who's going to talk to you about some of the logistical stuff like live lessons and then the further support that we can offer to you guys. Um, so first, I'd just like to say how proud we are um, of every single student in Year 11. The determination and resilience that they've shown this week has been absolutely outstanding. But also to you guys as parents, um, we know it's tough to support a child for Year 11 in normal situations. So actually the support that you're offering at the moment um, is amazing and we're really grateful for that. Obviously now we need to make sure we maintain that effort level um, that has been shown um, in order for your child to achieve the best possible outcomes in their GCSEs. So I'm now going to go over a couple of the updates which have been released this week. So firstly, the Department of Education have announced that GCSE exams will not take place this summer. Also, that a consultation period, which we believe to be a couple of weeks, will be launched next week to look at factors which will be used to award GCSE grades. We expect Ofqual, who is the exams regulator, to consider a teacher assessed system, possibly similar to the one that was used last year. But importantly, teachers will be given more training and advice and support uh, this year um, with how to award the grades fairly and consistently across the country. However, we are less sure on how this looks like or what this looks like for vocational subjects such as BTECs and other vocational subjects which we run in Year 11. Exams have not been cancelled for these qualifications yet and we're waiting to hear on further progressions on this. For example, there were windows that students could have, could have sat their exam in January and February, which we chose to cancel as we thought that was the right thing to do, like other centres did as well. Um, but it doesn't mean to say that other exam windows will not be created moving forward. Like with all subjects, it's important that students continue to learn and prepare as though they are going to sit exams um, as centric assessed grades are still bound to be based on some form of assessment anyway. We totally understand the mixed feelings that students, parents and us as teachers have right now, but I can assure you that no student will be disadvantaged and we will support in any way we can moving forward. Students still have the time to prove themselves to ensure they achieve their potential and to get the grades that they deserve. So what we need to do moving forward, and the message is really clear, we need to make sure students are attending all their online sessions. They need to complete the work that has been set from their teachers. They need to demonstrate a positive attitude to learning um, and they need to prepare and complete assessments to the best of their ability, whether that's virtually now or when they return to school. And we need to make sure students ask for help if they need it. We've got a year 11 team on hand to support both parents and students whenever um, advice or support is needed. It's important that students stay focused and complete the work to the best of their ability so that they have that choice in the next step of their education. They have the GCSE grades that they need, whether to get, go to sixth form, go to college or get an apprenticeship. All of our students need to continue to engage as fully as they can in the live le lessons that are being set. And it's really important that they're not just passive in their lessons, they're engaging and they're sending their teacher the work that they are producing. Supporting and monitoring students' next educational steps is obviously really important and more important than ever before because actually we're not seeing students on a daily basis like we used to. We currently have around 30 students that haven't yet applied for college or sixth form. Please can you support your child in making sure the um, courses that they're choosing or the centres that they're going to are the correct one for them? And again, any advice you need with that, just contact the U11 team or Mr. Arja, who is our careers advisor, who is happy to set up Zoom meetings with you to discuss any of the above. When you are asked to enter predicted grades, please use the predicted grades for report one. If you need this resent to you, please again, just let one of us know. I'm now going to pass over to Miss Ace, who's going to, to discuss the online learning and further support that we can offer. It's been fantastic to see all our students online this week, working really, really hard. Please ensure they keep up the good work and we will be in touch again when we have any further updates. Take care and speak to you soon. Hi Year 11 and hi parents, it's Miss Aves here. Obviously you've heard about the updates with the exams and you've heard about how we're supporting your child with the live lessons. What I'd like to do now is just go over some expectations. So all of the Zoom links are put on class charts, so they appear on the day. That does mean that if you try and look at them the day before, they might not be there, just because we're keeping it nice and structured, so it's easy and clear for your children to understand and find the links.
That means on the morning of the live lessons, you need to log on to class charts and be in the waiting room five minutes early. Have all of the resources open and downloaded from class charts. A lot of the time, these sometimes um, can take a little while to download if they're big files. So it's good to make sure that you've got them already downloaded, so you've got them in front of you. Make sure that you've got a pen and a paper, or if you're lucky enough to have two devices, to have a blank Word document open, just so you can then take notes and share those with your teacher for visas after the session. It's really important that you have your real name as your Zoom name. There have been some incidents where students have been not allowed into the Zoom from the waiting room because we don't know who it is, so it's essential that you have your name. Obviously, we want you to participate as much as possible, as Mr Willis has said, have your cameras on if you feel comfortable with that. But whilst the teacher is explaining things and other students are talking, just like you would in lessons, you need to keep yourself muted unless you're invited to speak. And please as well, do refrain from using the chat feature for personal conversations. At the end of the Zoom, the teacher can download a whole log of what has been said. So it's really important that you are polite and respectful and that you only use it to communicate with the teacher about the work and not with your friends. If you are having problems with ICT, First of all, the most important thing is that you get in touch with us so we can help. So things that you should have are your student class chart code, your parent class chart code, school email for your Gmail and the password, and then logins for websites like MathsWatch, Method Maths, Active Learn, Seneca, GCSE Pod, and any others that you use for specific lessons. If you are using these websites to do extra revision in your own time, that is firstly amazing. Please make sure that you do send it to your teachers. Teachers are still giving out visas for extra revision. If you don't have any of these logins, please obviously let us know. We can send those through. If you've forgotten passwords, we can reset them. But the main thing is that you stay in touch with us and that we communicate so all of those things are in place. If your child is waiting for a laptop, they are being set up and issued on a priority basis. Year 11s will be first. They are just taking a little longer than expected. If you do think that you could be eligible for one of the DfE laptops because you don't have a um, computer or a laptop at home, please do get in touch with us and we can see what we can do. That also applies to internet dongles as well. If you're in a situation where you've got several children at home, you're working at home yourselves and the Wi-Fi is struggling, please do get in touch. We can't promise anything, but we can try as well. At this time, obviously mental health is really, really important and we are here for your students in terms of their well-being as well as their academic progress. The most important thing is that in the, phone, in the phone call home in the first two weeks, you let us know if there's anything wrong. After the first two week period, we're not going to be calling home, mainly because your children are obviously going to be on Zoom calls and we don't want to interrupt their learning time. However, if you feel that they need a call, if you'd like them to have a chat with one of us, please do get in touch and we can phone back when it is convenient. We do recommend to support wellbeing, we do recommend taking breaks, obviously um, children are following their normal timetable so they have got the 30 minute morning break and the 30 minute lunch. We suggest going for a daily walk, obviously as lockdown permits, working with others as well. I know some students are FaceTiming whilst the Zoom, whilst the Zoom is kind of mooted in the background so they can then work together and still collaborate and share ideas which is a really good way to support wellbeing. It's really important to have social times as well, family time in the evening. And as well, there is a massive strain at the moment, I'm sure, on lots of people's eyes from being at a screen. So it's important that they do have time away from their phones and devices, read a book, go for a walk, play a board game, and really look after themselves. As you can see on the right hand side, there's a list of all the different emotions that people might feel at the moment. It is a tough time for everyone, but we're there to support, so please do get in touch if we can. And it's normal to feel all of those different emotions, even in the same day. Lastly, I hope you've been able to see my daily emails and my tweets. We are all so, so, so proud of you. Um, attendance has been incredible so far, but more than that, when students are on the Zooms, they're asking questions, they're answering questions, they're helping each other, and they're really showing us just how resilient and amazing they are. 
If you have Twitter, please follow the school, follow me, follow Mr. Cole, Mr. Willis. We are all sending out tweets about how proud we are. Please, 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 to students, be the person that we're emailing and tweeting about. If you're thinking, I could put my hand up, but I'm a little bit scared, just have a go. Just put all of your effort in, do the best you can. Just so you know as well, there is the ability um, on Zoom chat to send the message just to your teacher. So if you're feeling a little bit nervous, send it to them and then they can always give you that confidence boost that you need. But the most important thing, as Miss Ballantyne and Mr Willis have said in letters and already on this assembly, is to just put in the most effort you can and make yourselves proud. We really hope that you feel supported at this time. If there's anything else that we can do, please do get in touch. And lastly, teachers are working really, really hard behind the scenes and on the live lessons to keep your children educated and to keep them motivated. So if you've got any positive feedback, we would love to hear it. You can either send it directly to us and we'll forward it on to the relevant teachers or you can send it to Miss Palmer via her PA. Lastly, on the screen now, you've got all of the important email addresses. So you've got Mrs. Valentine, Mr. Willis, myself, Miss Burke, Mr. Cole, and all of the amazing VIP mentors, Mrs. Kobe, Miss Cork, and Miss Challen. Please do get in touch with us if we can do anything more to support. We really look forward to hearing from you, and thank you again for all of your help with your students' home learning.